technologies are rapidly rising. And uh, you know, really the, the fundamental hardware of photonics is really these capabilities to detect single photons. And we have detectors that work over, you know, that work pretty well already, right? Um, but as the usual issues with optoelectronics, we always struggle to detect long wavelength photons. So those are photons with very low energies from the mid infrared to the terahertz. Um, so that's really where our detector comes in. We were doing experiments in the lab um, and then we basically stumbled on this. So the material was behaving differently than we expected. We started to look into it. Then we thought, okay, let's shine light on it and see what happens. And we were shining light. We saw suddenly this extreme sensitivity to light and we started to dig into it even more and found out that it's sensitive to single photons. How we got to the end was really, you know, a really long journey of just playing, trying to understand what's happening. It was really, I would say, not, not planned <laughs> at all. Our device um, structure is uh, based on using two-dimensional material heterostructures, which means putting different type of two-dimensional layers on the top of each other. Uh, especially we use uh, bilayer graphene, uh, which is two layers of graphene. Um, that is sandwiched between layers of hexagonal boron nitrate, which is acting as an um, insulator and a protection layer for the graphene. Here have two layers of uh, graphene uh, as an illustration, and then when you put them on top of each other, perfectly on top of each other, then you don't see anything, right? But if I rotate them, you see this periodic structure emerging, you see here? This periodic structure is called moiré. This is seen everywhere in nature, but here we have moiré at the level of atoms. And then the electrons that are moving in this material, they feel this uh, moiré effect, this potential, and it completely changes the properties. So because of that, this super lattice induces new new types of electron behaviors, new types of uh, interactions between electrons. But what we're doing actually here is studying what happens to these super lattice devices, to these electrons, when we apply strong electric fields. And let's imagine that you have a box on a table. It's a huge box and you put a handful of grains of rice there. And then you put another handful of grains of rice and you just keep doing that and the, the pile inside ac accumulates and it may seem quite boring at some point, uh, at the beginning, until you uh, cross the critical point and the table breaks because the, the weight is so, so large. So this is more or less what is happening, but instead of the grains of rice we have electrical current that is flowing and uh, when we reach the critical point the device doesn't break but rather it jumps very suddenly to a different state uh, which is the electron hole plasma existing technologies that detect single photons are based on completely different mechanisms. For example, they use superconductors or they use semiconductors. But in our case, the mechanism is very different and that allows us also to have more tunability and a larger wavelength range. I think that the main advantage of our detector uh, over the, what is present right now in the state of the art is uh, that it can combine a long wavelength single photon detection, which means you know the, the wavelengths in mid infrared or possibly even up to terahertz, with um, high temperature operation. We have demonstrated uh, operation up to 25 Kelvin temperature. You can think of integrating it into integrated circuits for uh, data communication and quantum information technologies. Uh, this is very important. Uh, but also on imaging, for example, for space exploration and for medical imaging, uh, it is also very important to have uh, single photon sensitivities. I think the biggest excitement was really when we found it, because you know, as these things go, you find something and then that's the easy part and the hard part is trying to prove it's really what you saw. 